Mother of the true light, we glorify you, Saint Theodos, for you have borne to us to the Savior all good to be our Savior and Soul. Glory be to you, our Master and our King, Christ, the pride of the Apostle, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the perfect of the church, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity, one in essence. We, 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 Amen. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light to God of true God, begotten, not created, but one essence of the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and then the Jewish made and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried on the third day, he was dead, according to the scripture. I said that to heaven, he said that I kind of saw them. And he's coming again, his glory, judge the living, and the death whose kingdom shall happen. And yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and glorified to spoke by the prophets of the Holy Catholic Apostolic Church. We confess one of prison for religion sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Lord have mercy. Holy Trinity, have mercy upon us, O Lord. 
us our blessings. Forgive our blessings that they will us. Because we are your country. Amen. Because we have your country. Amen. 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 Let be according to you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us their daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. To Christ Jesus our Lord. Oh, oh. Remember, O Lord, those offered you this gift, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for this holy, precious gift, our sacrifices, and those who will bring them. Lord, have mercy. Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for He has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us Himself. Spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. 
Let us also ask in the Lord our God the Pantocrator to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guided us, accepted us yourself, spared us, supported us, brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. and to the intergoodness of lover of mankind grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear all envy all temptation all the work of satan the counsel of wicked men the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest take them away from us and from all your people from this holy table from this holy church and from this holy place that is yours but those things which are good and profitable do provide for us for it is you have given us the authority to trade on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. servants, the ministers of this day, the archdeacon and all the deacons, the clergy and all the people and my weakness be absolved from the mouth of all holy trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit and from the mouth of the one only holy catholic and apostolic church and from the mouth of the twelve apostles and from the mouth of the beholder of God, the evangelist Saint Mark, the holy apostle and martyr the patriarchs and severus, our teacher, discourse and ethnicity, the apostolics and Peter, the holy martyr and high priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil and Saint Gregory and from the mouth of the 318 assembly at Nicaea the 150th of Constantinople and the 200 at Ephesus, and from the mouth of our honored father, the high priest, Pope Awatawadrus II, and his partner in the liturgy, our honored father, the Metropolitan Ambassador Apion, and from my own mouth, being the least, for blessed and full of glory is your holy name, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and all times, to the ages of all ages. Amen.
second epistle of our teacher Paul to the theologians may his blessings be upon us all amen but we are bound to give thanks to God always for you brethren beloved by the Lord because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the spirit and belief in the truth to which you to which he called you by our gospel for the attaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ therefore brethren and stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught whether by word or our epistle now may our Lord Christ himself and our God Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by the grace, comfort uh, your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord concerning you, both that you do the will of the Lord, the will of the Lord, and will do the things we command you. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the first epistle of our teacher, St. John, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. Amen. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not Love does not know God, for God is love. In this the Lord of the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. And this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, is if God 
so loved us, we, ought, we also ought to love each other. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love has been perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. Do not love the world nor the things in the world. The Lord is passing. The world is passing away, and it's lost. But he who does the will of God abides forever. <laughs> of our fathers, the pure apostles, who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, and may their blessings be with us, all amen. And in Lystra, a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting, a cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. And this man heard Paul speaking. Paul, observing him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet, and he leaped and walked. Now when the people saw what Paul had done, they raised their voices, saying in the Lyconian language, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. And Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Zeus, whose temple was in front of their city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, intending to sacrifice with the multitudes. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard this, they tore their clothes and ran in among the multitude, crying out and saying, Men, why are you doing these things? We are also... We also are men with the same nature as you, and preach to you that you should turn from these useless things to the living God, who made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all things that are in them, who in by bygone generations allowed all nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he did not leave himself without witness, in that he did good, gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with good and gladness with food and gladness. And with these sayings, they could scarcely restrain the multitudes from sacrificing to them. And then Jews from Antioch and Isonium came there. And having persuaded the multitudes, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing to be dead. However, when the disciples gathered around them, he rose up and went into the city. And the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derbe. And when they had preached to had preached the gospel to that city and made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the, in the faith, and saying, We must through many tribulations enter the kingdom of God. So when they had appointed elders in every church and prayed with fasting, they commended to them they commended to the Lord in whom they had believed. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the holy church of God. Amen. Ya kolla so
Oh, oh, oh. 
According to our teacher, St. John the Evangelist, may his blessing be with us all. From the psalm of our teacher, David the prophet, may his blessing be with us all. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and song, 
and he has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does vanity. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does vanity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God, Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever and ever. Amen. Then Jesus said to them, A little while longer the night will be with you. Walk while you have the night, lest darkness overtake you. He who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. These things Jesus spoke and departed and was hidden from them. But although he had done so many signs before them, they did not believe in him that the word of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spoke, Lord, who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because Isaiah said again, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, lest they should see with their eyes Yes, they should understand with their hearts and turn, so that I should hear them. These things Isaiah said when he saw his glory and spoke of him. Nevertheless, even among the rulers, many believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest yes, they should be put out of the synagogue. For they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. Then Jesus cried out and said, He who believed in me, believed not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believed in me should not abide in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not believe, I do not judge him. For I do not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which judge him. The word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken in my own authority. But the Father who sent me gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I speak. Glory be to God. On the Son of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Christos Anisti. Christ is risen. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is doing great. Um, let me remind you, um, uh, first, let me announce the liturgies. God willing, this, this week will be the same. So we have a liturgy every day except on Tuesday. I'm sorry, except on Monday and Thursday. So we have a liturgy on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. We all start at 8 o'clock, and then on Sunday we have the two liturgy. Ashaya is as normal on Saturday at 7.30, and there is an English Bible study every Wednesday at 7 inside in the office. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Let me remind you of uh, the Sundays of the Holy 50 Days. Do you remember them? 
two weeks ago, we, as we have the Sundays of the Great Lent, we also have the Sundays of the Holy 50 Days. So the first Sunday, what was the first Sunday after Resurrection? <coughs> Thomas Sunday, and then I am the bread of life. Remember we said the theme for the Holy 50 Days. What is the theme for the Holy 50 Days? To live heaven and earth. Thank you. Yes. Living heaven and earth. That's our theme. You come and you find all these things like the white curtain and the joyful hymns and the procession. That all, it's an invitation from the church to live heaven and earth, which is something that we should do every day. So the first one is the living, and I, I am the bread of life. So Thomas Sunday, and then I am the bread of life. On the road, I need my food. I need something to keep me going. So I am the bread of life. And I also, with the food, I need also a drink. So I am the living water. So Thomas Sunday, I am the bread of life. I am the living water. Today is the fourth Sunday. I am the light. Okay. And then next Sunday, he says, I am the way. So you need the light, and then I am the way. So with the food, with the drink, you have the light. Now you know the way. And then the sixth Sunday, I am the victorious Lord. Or with me, you can overcome victory, Sunday of victory. So, and of course, then the last one is the receiving of the Holy Spirit. That is the birth of the church, and that's what keeps us all going on the right path to heavenly kingdom. So, one more time. So, the first Sunday is Thomas Sunday, and then I am the bread, bread of life. I am the living water. I am the light. I am the victory. way. I am the victory. victory. And then the Holy Spirit, the Pentecost. And our theme, again, is living heaven on earth. Holy 50 days is not a time where we just um, eat and eat and eat. It's not, that's not the theme, because a lot of us sometimes we think the theme of the Holy 50 days is eat whatever you want. No. And the Holy 50 days is not a break. And I always give that example, like in the Great Lent, and then coming the Holy Pascha week, we press the gas. Like we're going with the vehicle, with our vehicle, we're going uphill. We're going up in the mountain, and we go up and up and up. The world is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, which is very good. And then Easter hits, we just let go of the gas. Drastically. We go speedily um, backward, and then the world becomes bigger again in our eyes. So that's not what the Holy 50 Days is all about. The Holy 50 Day is living heaven on earth. So one of the things that we will see in heaven is light. There is no darkness in heaven. That's why Jesus Christ says, I am the light. And later on, by the way, he says, you are the light of the world. So we stem the, the light, our light, from the main light who is our Lord Jesus Christ. To make the long story short, to always live in light, we need to avoid darkness, obviously speaking. Okay, because the definition of darkness, can you generate darkness? Can you like build a machine to generate darkness? That would be a waste of money. Why? Because simply darkness is the absence of light. If you want to have darkness, just, just cover the light or go away from the light. So we don't have investors don't invest in building machines to invent darkness or to generate darkness simply because we can easily have darkness by covering the light. So a um, few things that we um, can get in ourselves involved in to be away from the light. In other words, those things will try to avoid to always be living in light. I'll just focus on three of them for the sake of the time. So one of the things that can lead us to darkness is ignorance. I don't know God. I do not want to know God. I do not want to be educated about God. God in my life, it's not a necessity. I can live on my own. That's ignorance. Because everything is from Him by him and to him. Everything is from him, by him, and at the end, everything goes to him. 
So if I try to ignore the presence of God, that's why uh, Hosea the prophet said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And I don't mean lack of knowledge is just reading books. I'm talking about growth and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And by the way, this is one of the main things that we will be doing in heaven. This is what our Lord Jesus Christ said. This is the heavenly kingdom to get to know you. A lot of us sometimes we feel like heaven is uh, uh, like Jesus will be on like a very high chair and everyone is like on pews just sitting and, and saying the midnight praise or standing in the midnight praise. No. Heaven is dynamic as Satan always tells us. It's not static. You grow. If we have growth on earth, of course we will have growth in heaven. We will grow in knowledge. So ignorance pushes us to darkness. So I need to know. And that knowledge comes by having a deep, intimate, consistent relationship with God. Allowing the Holy Spirit to grow in us. That's the real growth. So when we don't know God or we choose or someone choose not to know God or not to know more about God or not to grow in his or her love in God, that's darkness. People back in the days, yes, they memorized the commandments of God in the Old Testament, but they completely ignored the spirit of the law. That's why they were living in darkness. Right? Um, one of the things, one of the stories that we all know, St. Paul. St. Paul, before he was St. Paul, what was his name? Saul, what was he doing? Persecuting Christianity and Christians. Was that darkness or light? He was living in darkness. That's why the thing that God chose for him to suffer from is blindness to be blinded and then when he was baptized he saw the light again so he was living in ignorance he thought Christianity is against God but actually Christianity leads us to God to the true God so he was living in ignorance he was living in darkness but when he was baptized and then he knew about our Lord Jesus Christ Right away, he received back the light and he received back his eyesight, right? So one of the things that will push us to darkness is ignorance. So let us pray. Let us read the Bible. Let us know more about God, about heaven, about the saints. Let us hear sermons, read spiritual books. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to grow in us. And when the Holy Spirit grows in us, then we have the right growth. A second thing that would, of course, lead us away from light is when we have something separates us from the source of light. What separate, separates us from the source of light? Sin. Thank you. Yes. Because the definition of sin is separation from God. And God is the source of light. So when I sin, I separate myself from the source of light, then I'm living in darkness. Then if I want to live in light all the time because this is what heaven is all about, there is no darkness in heaven because God, the Son of Righteousness, is always there, then I want to always maintain a holy life. I'm not saying any one of us would be perfect, but we try not to sin, but when we sin, we repent. Remember last time we said one of, one of the things that we need to always do to be living heaven and earth is to live a holy life, to keep our bodies holy. As St. Paul said, don't you know that your bodies are the temple of God and the Holy Spirit dwells in them? So one of the things that I can do with the grace of God, of course, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit is avoiding sin. When I love sin, when I love money, when I am prideful, when I am growing this ego in me, no, I am living in total darkness. I'm not seeing the light. 
I'm not seeing the true light of our Lord Jesus Christ. And one of the things that we say in the creed, that he is a true light of the true light. So we have to, as much as we can, as consistent, as faithful as we can, avoid sin. Easier said than done. I'm very sure that's what we all say in our minds. It is easier said than done because to avoid sin while we are in the flesh, it's very hard. It's very difficult. But with the grace of God, as St. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If I have a trouble of, with, with anger, I, I cannot see the light if I'm always angry. Yes, the Bible knows that sometimes we are angry, but the Bible says, be angry, but do not sin. I'm just giving examples. So we have to, as much as we can, to keep ourselves holy. Let us not say avoid sin, because that's passive. Let us say, let us always be holy. Let us always be pure. So one thing, number one, to throw us in darkness is ignorance. The second thing that lives or makes us live in darkness is sin. So let us avoid ignorance. Let us avoid sin. Lastly, the darkness of self-righteousness. I feel that I am better than everyone. When you think that you are living or you are better than everyone else around you, would you try to be better? When you already think that you're the best, would you try to be better? Of course, no. In my mind, I'm, better, I'm the best. I'm better than everyone else. Of course not. Because any righteousness comes from us, comes from our Lord Jesus Christ. Like when our Lord Jesus Christ was invited to um, uh, Simon the Pharisee's house. And then the sinful or the repentant woman came in and she was, um, she was washing the, the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ with her tears and wiping them with her head. What was Simon saying? Did he praise the woman? Or what did he say? He said, if he was a prophet, he would have known that lady is what? A sinner. So he was judging Christ and he was judging the woman. Do you think he's living in light? He's living in total darkness. When the, when the Pharisee, when the, the parable of our Lord Jesus Christ, when he said the Pharisee and the public, and they both came into the, the temple, the publican was very humble. He said, remember me, O Lord, I'm a sinner. And the Pharisee was saying, I am not like this sinner. And he was pointing his finger to the publican, to the tax collector. That's total darkness. If you think that you know everything and you know best and you know better than anyone else, we are in darkness. That's why Satan, who at the beginning was an angel, when he thought that he can be higher than God, now he is in total darkness and he will be in total darkness forever. That's self-righteousness that made an angel to become Satan. Us too. When we start judging others, when I have those egoistic thoughts or prideful thoughts in my mind, I'm living in darkness. To live in light, I always have to be like our Lord Jesus Christ. I have to live in humility. I have to have that example of our Lord Jesus Christ before my eyes and always follow his his lead to humility. One of the, the verses that St. Paul said, Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. And that's what we say at the conclusion of every prayer in the Agbeya. That's the, that's the spirit that we should have. That because we need, if I don't know that I am a sinner, I will never ask for repentance. I will never ask for it. To make the long story short, so today our Lord Jesus Christ is saying that uh, he is the light. And he is inviting us to live in light. If I want to live in light, I need to avoid darkness. I need to avoid ignorance. I need to avoid sin. 
I need to avoid self-righteousness. Today, one of the verses that Jesus said, he said, of course, you'll be living in darkness because you like the praise of men, not the praise of God. They are very self-righteous and they receive the praise of men and they actually like the praise of men. They desire the praise of men. Self-righteousness. So if I want to live in light, I need to grow, let's say it in a positive way, instead of saying avoiding ignorance, let us grow in our knowledge with Christ. And instead of avoiding sin, let us say live a holy, pure life. And instead of saying let us avoid self-righteousness, let us live in humility uh, as our Lord Jesus Christ did. So let us all, all together, let us work on growing in knowledge in our Lord Jesus Christ, living a pure and holy life and let us always be humble, live the life of humility, following our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom is the glory forever and ever into the ages of all ages. Amen. <laughs> We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of right to God of true God, begotten not created of one essence with who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into heaven. He sits at the right hand of his father. And he's coming again. His glory to the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Oh, 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 I have sinned, forgive me and pray for me. Be a bros of kiss, toss it in a pen 
and death which enter into the world through the enemy of the devil you have destroyed by the life given manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord the God and Savior Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with heavenly peace by which it also of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth and good will towards men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostle and greetings. Lord, have mercy. According to your good will, O God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all craftiness, and the remembrance of vice, bearing death. And make us all worthy, our Master, to greet one another with the holy kiss, that without casting us into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Greet one another, holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yeah, Lord, who are Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy on us. Over in order, stand the West and bring Dr. Thais. It has attained through the intercession of the Theotokos Saint Mary. O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sin. We worship you, O cry with your good Father. upon the lowly who have created the heaven the earth the sea and all that is therein the father of all lord the god and savior jesus christ by whom you have created all things visible and invisible who is seated upon the throne of his glory and who is worshipped by all the holy powers you who are seated stand before whom stand the angels the archangels the principalities the authorities the thrones the dominions and the powers look towards the east. you are here around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, saying, Let us attend. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy.
created us and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through all the prophets. And in the last days you manifested yourself to us, who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin, Mary. taught us the ways of salvation he granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit he made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your holy spirit he loved his own who were in the world and as a ransom in our behalf gave himself up unto death which reigned over us whereby we were bound and sold in account of our sins he descended into Hades through the cross. He rose from the dead on the third day. He ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father. He has appointed a day for recompense in which he'll appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our spot of blemish blessed and life giving we believe that this is true looked out towards even to god his father master of everyone when he had given thanks he blessed Sanctified it. disciples say the apostles saying take eat of it all of you for this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me Likewise, also the cup out of supper, he mixed it of wine and water, and when he had given thanks, 
he blessed oh, and he sanctified it. Oh, And all the disciples and the apostles saying, Take drink of it all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. time you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. His holy passion, His resurrection from the dead, His ascension into the heavens. He is sitting at your right hand, O Father, and His second coming from the heavens. Awesome and full of glory, we offer unto you your gifts and what is yours for everything concerning everything and in every thing. Worship God in fear and trust and bless. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. And this bread he makes into his holy body. cup also the precious blood of his new covenant. Again, Our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, giving for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. us all worthy our master to partake of your holies and to the purification of our souls our bodies and our spirits 
that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share and inheritance with all the saints that have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord, have mercy. This which have acquired yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. For most remember, O Lord, our honor, Father, the Patriarch of our Tawadros II and his partner, the liturgy, our honor, Father, the Metropolitan Ambassador of Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with them, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemons, priests, and deacons. Lord, And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantokrat. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place in every place in every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell therein in God's faith, graciously accord the Lord to bless the earth of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth, may its furrows be abundantly watered, and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage, O Lord, our life as the infant. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O you who give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we too, having sufficiency in everything, always may abound in every good deed. Remember, O oh Lord, those who have run to you, these gifts to those who knows be have, they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for this holy precious gift, our sacrifices, and those who bring them. Lord, have As this, O Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of you, our saints, and graciously accord the Lord to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning, our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the uh, faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, and Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Logos, and Saint John the Forerunner, Baptist, and Modern, Saint Stephen, Archdeacon, and Proto Martyr, the Beholder of God, the Evangelist, Saint Mark, the Holy Apostle, and Martyr. The Patriarch, St. Severin, our teacher, Dioscorus, and Athenus, the Apostolic, St. Peter, the Holy Martyr, and a High Priest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodosius, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory, a theologian, 
Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker, Saint Gregory the Armenian. The 318 assembled at the 150 Constantinople and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous father, the great of Antony, the righteous of Paul, the three saints of Macari, and all their children, the cross bearers. Our father of John de Gomen, our righteous father of Pishoi, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our father of Apollo of Timon, Ezekiel, his disciple, my Lord, the Roman father, saints, Maximus and Demetrius, the forty-nine martyrs, the elders of Shehit, the strong saint of Moses, John Kemi, the priest, our father of Daniel the Hegumen, our father of Isidore the priest, our father of Abakum of the Kunanian, Theodore his disciple, our father of Shinuda the Arshmanidrite, and our of Esau his disciple, and all the choir of your sins, through his prayers and supplications, have mercy on us all and save us. For the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. And those who read, recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. May their holy blessing be with us. Amen. Glory to you. Servant Sami Asad Namatalla Muklahan Yanni Gamil Botros Ramziriot Kurulus Lame Hakim Nagati Nagib Said and although O Lord whose souls you have taken repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem in the place and we too who are sojourners in this place keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end As it was, and shall be kingdom that as in this also in all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with jesus christ 
Your beloved Son and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. And with you. Let us give thanks to God the Pantocrator, the Father of all, Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, for He also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and serve His holy name. Let us also ask Him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of His divine and immortal mystery. Amen. Precious blood, blood of his Christ the Pantocrator, the Lord our God. Amen, amen. Let us pray. the Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who through his cross descended to Hades and restored our father Adam and his children to paradise. He buried us with himself, and through his death he abolished the power of death. And on the third day he rose from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. He appeared to Mary Magdalene spoke with her in this manner, saying, Tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The archangel descended from heaven and rolled the stone from the door of the tomb, and proclaimed the glad tidings to the women, saying, Christos anesti enknekro Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. He breathed into the face of his saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Receive the Holy Spirit if you forgive the sinny sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Therefore we ask you, our Master, purify us from all hypocrisy, that with a pure heart we may dare with boldness, without fear to entreat you, God the Holy Father, who is in the heavens, and say, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. Where is the source of peace and Remember the Lord, the peace of our holy Catholic and Apostolic Catholic Church of God. Remember the Lord, our Honor Father, the Patriarch of the Order the Second and His Partner in the Liturgy, our Honor Father, the Metropolitan Ambassador of Remember, O oh Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Save, O me, and with your spirit, in the field of God, let us attend. Amen. The whole is for the holy, blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The holy precious body and the true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is true. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe, and confess to the last breath that this is the life given flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos, Saint Mary. He made it one with his divinity, although mingling without confusion, without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment nor a twinkling of an eye, given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, Amen. I believe, I believe. Ah, 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 I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the Immaculate and Heavenly Monastery. Is Lord have mercy. taking uh, communion from the left side so we will move one row at a time all around the, from both sides okay we'll be taking communion on both sides so those on the right hand side will come this way and those on the left hand side will come that way 
and then the, we, we take the, the blood through the middle aisle. Alleluia. Oh, 
forevermore. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Choice, 
حياتي قللو يا إيزون بغرسو بقرو انت بقو أفطون في بولقني Oh, I am 
breath has breath praise the name of the Lord our God hallelujah Jesus Christ the King of glory has risen from the dead Sabbath Salam, 
الكلم الأزالي ذاق الموت المسيح صلب وقبر ثم قام Because of his unlimited love Freedom and life to us he bestows And the gift of living daily with him Christ, Christ was crucified, buried, then arose He destroyed the power of death And he defeated all his foes he is the living, immortal God. Christ was crucified, buried, and arose. By his death he humiliated Satan. By his resurrection he defeated his foes. And by his love he saved us all. Christ was crucified, buried, and arose. Jesus was raised upon a cross, the tree of shame and of grave woes. He bore our deserved chastisement. Christ was crucified, buried, and arose. His Lordship adorned the cross. The curse to peace he did transpose he made it the sign of power Christ was crucified buried and arose and so they buried him inside the tomb the Lamb of God, the Lord of Sabbath. But he rose up after three days. Christ was crucified, buried, and arose. His forgiveness was offered to all to our father Adam and to all those who were tormented with him in Hades Christ was crucified buried and arose and he Send it to the heaven with an eternal body that glows. He sits at the right hand of the Father. Christ was crucified, buried, then arose. By his death he broke the thorn of death, and he conquered all of his foes, and he freed the sins from their prison. Christ was crucified, buried, and arose. He threw the 
أدرجين أنتو ذلك of brimstone and fire pain and woes that was prepared for him and his demon Christ was crucified there in the road Satan once thought that he, he ruled all humanity he exiled and deposed God redeemed them with his wisdom Christ was crucified buried there how full of wisdom is the father the perfect plan he did compose his only son redeemed us christ was crucified buried then arose we were deceived by the serpent to eat the forbidden fruit is what we chose and in defiance our hands reached for it christ was crucified buried then arose that fruit was full of deadly poison its potency we did miss diagnose but God revived us with mercy. Christ was crucified, buried, then arose. Alleluia to the merciful God. We praise Him with gratitude because his tender mercy endures forever. Christ was crucified, buried, then arose. He fulfilled all the prophecies, what the forefathers had composed. The beloved Son is the Redeemer. Christ was crucified, buried, then arose. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God, have mercy. خیلی فرمانی می‌دیوت نمی‌شیرن فرمان ما از تو هم نوت نوت آمین. فرمان رو هم نجیب نوت بیاد پی پان تو کرتور آمین. آمین فرمان رو هم نجیب پی فرمان ما از تو هم پارا کرتور آمین. Glory and honor, honor and glory to all hope, turning to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. O angel of this sacrifice, flying up to heaven with this hymn, remember us before the Lord that He may forgive us our sins. Let us all sing with the angel saying. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Amen. Alleluia. Dog sabatri. Keo keo giop nev mati kenin kai. Ke sosion a sonion un amin tenoche volingo emoje open shot. Isos pekere so se boro en te bo u afton fe vol geniet mo gen pi e ho o e macho so tiem mo no o na ina ni kiri ele iso en kiri ele iso 
Grace is only begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ. The fellowship, the gift, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. You may all go in peace, and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.